Hello and welcome to the living room. I'm your host, Shanna Van Ness. Today we've stepped off the couch to attend the Day of Anger Millions March right here in Washington Square Park, New York City. Thousands of individuals have gathered together collaboratively to march for social injustices. Everyone has a voice and our voice needs to be heard. It's time to make changes as it relates to our civil and human rights. People have issues, of course, with the way in which policing is done in our city. Now it's time to march collectively as one group to get our voice heard peacefully. And today we just really wanted to know what inspired you to be here today? Um, I, th I think everyone is just sort of sick with the uh, double standard of, uh, of police tactics in this country. Um, if Eric Garner was a white man, it would have been completely panned off. It would, they probably would have been like, oh, just give it a break, stop it. Nothing would have happened, but a man was murdered on the street. And um, I think everyone here is just trying to challenge institutionalized racism and just really try and, and contextualize race in America and uh, just sort of shatter the idea that whiteness is normal. And, uh, and that's very important. Again, all lives matter, not just black lives. There is an issue here with race in America, and I'm surrounded today by millions of people ready to march to end uh, racism, prejudice, and social justices in America. This is still going on. We have to be here at the next Yo, we out here in Foley Square. I'm telling you, people, you see the people? It's deep. Black lives does matter. So don't forget about that. We're gonna justice for all our brothers and sisters. White, black, doesn't matter. Justice for all. ready to march in solidarity to end social injustices. Again, black lives matter. Thank you, it's the living room. Okay, okay, okay. I absolutely had to be here. Okay. That's something that I wouldn't be able to miss. Um, before this time, I would say that uh, there's been a, a lot of buildup to getting here over time, over years. I have personal experiences that tell me that I need to be afraid if I see a group of cops. Sounds weird, mm -hmm. but it's the case. I mean, I'm not a criminal. I don't live in a criminal area. I go to work every day. I pay taxes. Therefore, I should feel safe if I see those who are supposed to be there to protect me. Absolutely. Instead, I get afraid. And you know what? They actually get afraid of me, I believe. So therefore, it was a long time building up and the system is broken. It, you know, they, they use the excuse of crime and statistics for the reason of why they profile me. But I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not them. If you want to use statistical data, then I should be afraid of every kid that walks into school with a trench coat, if that's the case. I should be afraid of every person who walks in as a Unabomber, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I go on about my life, and I do my job, so do yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. No problem. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. And yes, again, we're all here sharing a story, telling a story, marching in solidarity, because yes, black lives matter, and all lives matter. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side?
side are you on, friend? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, friend? Which side are you on? Justice for Eric Garner and justice for the 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 We out here in numbers. You see this number? This is Shannon B. Van Ness, creator and host of The Living Room. Today we are all leaders standing up to promote positive social change in solidarity, one voice united, black lives matter, in racism. We all have rights, civil rights, human rights, and they matter. Leaders trying to promote positive social change.
scared to death. Honestly, I don't feel safe as a woman of color in this country. I'm an aunt of eight, and I want my nieces and nephews to live in a world that's better. So I'm here, and I'm representing me and my family in North Carolina from a family of protesters from five years old to the NAACP. So it's just important. You guys, Laura said it too. It's the truth.
because of the blue or whatever, uh, Lutin is in the game, and they're 31 years old. That's the yellow card. What's your head? Is that the same? Go, go, go. Yeah, right. 